What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the easiest and fastest way to make stubs today. Friday, June 18th. Now the market always changed, so that's why you should be subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button, drop a like on the video. Y'all been tearing the videos up. And I appreciate every single one of y'all. Shout out to the MVPs. If you want to be an MVP, all you got to do is follow me on all social medias. Make sure that you are active in the comment section and be subscribed to the channel. Let's get into today's stub method and today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FAT for 5% off your order. First, let's go over the upcoming schedule so you can have an idea of what you should be looking out for. So they got the new Father's Day coming on 620, but they also got the third inning conquest that's dropping today, probably in the next 45 minutes. So what does that mean for you? That means that people are going to be getting free packs. That's going to drive the prices of golds down. That's going to drive the prices of low diamonds down. So you're going to have to make sure that you take advantage of this today every card that you see that was in the high 2000s go here on the market and scoop you up at least five of them take advantage of this third inning conquest if you don't play conquest today is the day to do it every day the market fluctuates wednesdays and thursdays is the best time to be able to buy cards and saturday is usually the best time to sell cards but today on friday when they bring something new into the game you want to take advantage of it old atlanta stadium has been selling very fast so log on your game and you can flip them for 650 to 800 profit every single time until people start undercutting you so this old atlanta i'm going to show you the stadium and the price that you should be buying them at you can see i just bought them back so right here so we're going to go to old atlanta you can get them for 3019 always go too higher when you are doing the stadiums so we're going to put some buy orders in right here we're going to do 3020 so we just did four of the old atlantas you can see they are going for 3999 and you can buy them for 3020 now there's orders for 3018 3017 3016 all i need is for somebody to sell them to me for the 3020 and i can go back and make a quick 600 700 profit i didn't already did it earlier today watch out for them make sure that you are not paying over 3050 for the car unless you can make sure that you are selling it for in the 38 to 3900 range a small investment that you should be doing for the long term is this josh donaldson you can get them right now for a thousand and two thousand and three stubs you're not going to make a profit right away but he's been having a 270 career betting average this year he is betting a 241 with 10 home runs so let's look at his stats real quick what does he need to get boosted up to the next level he's going to need a little better contact he has gold defense that's always good for a card because sds is able to work around certain things to get them boosted up to the next tier so being that he has gold defense only thing he will have to worry about is his hitting stats he goes up that plus two or even a plus one you are making about 750 up to 2,000 stubs per Josh Donaldson when nobody knows about it. So grab you a couple of these right now. This is a long-term investment, but it's guaranteed to give you a profit. Buying them at the lowest and then being able to sell them once he gets to the 1700 or 2400 range. Another card that's been sneaking under the radar a little bit is this Escobar. Now, this Escobar, people got orders in from him since he was a silver. So you can go in right now. Being at the lowest is 202. You can't do that, but you can get them for 1,001, 1,002, or 1,003 stubs. Got 22 orders in for 202 stubs, and then 34 orders for 200 stubs. So somebody's going to make a banging on them. The way that he's been playing, he's had four hits over the past three games. He's betting a 245 this season with 15 home runs. Okay, another card, my favorite card that has been going under the radar is this Randy Arizarani. I don't know how to pronounce it, but the boy has been balling. You can see he got plus 12 on his contact left, plus 12 on his power left. Now all he needs is better defense. A bump on his defense, get that up to about a 70, and then a plus four, plus five on each side of the bet, and he's guaranteed to be in that 84 range, close to going diamond. So, so far he's betting a 271. 
throughout the season with 10 home runs and you can see he has 81 speed and that's the reason why he has 11 stolen bases so if he can get his contact boosted up a little bit his power if he can get both of them in the 80 tier and he can work on his defense prove to SDS that he deserves the upgrade he's playing up to an 83 right now so if you are getting him for a thousand and two thousand and three stubs and he goes up to an 83 he's going to become watched on everybody's radar and then he's going to start hitting that 1800 2200 range and you're going to be making 750 to a thousand profit on every single card so remember the market might fluctuate tomorrow and later on today. It's the weekend. Less people are going to be working. More people are going to be opening packs. So I would take 4,000 off of these cards right here. And then any other lower goals I would sell to get me up to six, 7,000. And then I would come back and I would invest into the Joe Musgroves, the cards that are expensive. As you can see, he's going up higher and higher. I got him at the 2,400 range. This Padres team is going to have a lot of upgrades. Tatis has been balling out. If you got any kind of duplicate of him, he's 124,000 right now. He's probably going to get back up to the 140,000 range. This Lamet has a chance to get up to the 1800, 1900 range. Trent Grisham has been flying underneath the radar. If you can get yourself 10 or 15 of them, he has a chance. He only needs a plus two. So if he gets a plus one this upgrade and then a plus one the next upgrade and you got him for 1283, you got a chance to make four thousand stubs on every single card when you are making 800 900 stubs per card it starts to add up once you got 15 or 20 of them you start getting up into each card 12 15 and 20 thousand stubs you invest into nine or ten different cards you are over a hundred thousand stubs already with a few cards so i'm gonna start pulling names out of the comment section out of the hat so comment down below, I'm gonna choose you. Also over on my Twitter, we have the giveaway that was on yesterday's video with the retweet. So if you didn't retweet, hit on over to the Twitter or follow me on Instagram and drop a message. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Let's go.